Mapper 14 here. Today I'm going to show you how to install the actual official Instagram application from your Android phone and I'm going to show you how to install it onto your Chrome OS device. So that's your Chromebooks, your Chrome boxes, your Chrome bases, all the Chrome things out there. So anything running Chrome OS this can use. Now at the moment I have tested this on my Windows computer and it has not worked. So if, if you have Chrome on your computer, this is not the same thing. This is Chrome, the operating system, as if you can see at the bottom, you know how it looks different here than your regular computer. Just letting you know. Alrighty, so you're gonna need a few things. One, in your extensions, you're going to need to have developer mode turned on. Now to get to extensions, you press the little settings button up here in the right hand corner, go down to more tools and press extensions. You're gonna get this window right here and at the top, you're going to see developer mode. You're going to want to check that. Alrighty, next, you're going to check what Chrome operating system version you're on. Because if you're not on the right one, you're not going to be able to do this. So you need to have a minimum of operating system number 40. So you're just going to press settings right here. And then you're, it's going to have this pop-up setting. And at the very top, you'll see about Chrome OS. You're going to press on that. And it says this is version 42, so we're good. So as long as you have anything above 40, you're good. And right now, I think most Chromebooks are running that. So you should be great. Alrighty, so now that you got all that set up, you're going to do two things. One, you're going to go to your file manager like this, and you're going to need to install, or excuse me, you're not going to install, excuse me. You're going to want to create a new folder. So we'll go right click, new folder, and you're going to name this applications, you know, programs, whatever you want. So I named it app since that's simple. And then you can see we have the Instagram uh, app off of the Android device. Now to get that, you go to a website called apkmirror.com, okay? And this website is always updating the latest Instagram app and a lot of other apps too you can test out, but we're going to go to Instagram. So in the right-hand corner over here, it has a search box. Type in Instagram, press search. And this is the APK file. This is what um, Android uses as an application, so we're going to use that today as our uh, file. So you're going to press download, and once you press it, it's going to pop up in the corner down here. And, you know, say download complete, you know, but I canceled it because I already have that. So I'll just skip that for you guys. So once it's finished downloading, you're going to also need an application from the Chrome Web Store. So to get that, you know, you go to the Chrome Web Store over here. And I will also put it a link in the description for this app, but it is called Arc Welder. And it's got this little Android guy with a welding thing. And you're going to need this app. Otherwise, we can't do this. So once that's ready, you open it up like this, Arc Welder. It's going to say, add your APK, which is the file we just downloaded from apkmirror.com. Both of the links to those, this application and the APK Mirror website are going to be in the description. So you're going to press add your APK, and then you're going to see com.instagram android. There it is right there. And it's going to say type of files, APK, all good. Double click it. It's going to open up uh, the application. And this is where it gets fun. It's going to say orientation, landscape, portrait. Now, when you're on your phone, Instagram's in portraits. So you're going to select portrait. Now, there is no tablet version of this app, so we're going to go with phone form factor. You can try tablet and test it out. I haven't done that yet. That's just the, uh, the app size. So the, right now, what this application window is, is about the phone size. So Instagram will fit in a window about the big, as big as what you're seeing, this arc welder. And then clipboard access, yes. That means you can copy and paste stuff into comments and stuff like that. So next, you're going to press um, launch app. There we go. It's going to load up, and bingo, there it comes. Instagram. It's going to load up. There we go. And FYI for you guys, you can log in, you know, log in with Facebook if you want to use that, sign up, stuff like that. And you can post pictures. I'm going to show you that in a second. But with the Arc Welder application, if you just want Instagram and no other programs on your Chromebook, good job, you're great, you're done. But if you plan on installing other applications, you need to do a few steps. You can close out Arc Welder, and you open up your Files app. And if you notice right here, it says com.instagram. You have the application, the APK file, but up here you have a folder with the same exact name. Now, whenever you install a new application with Arc Welder, this folder gets erased, and it replaces it with the new application, so you'll lose your Instagram. So that's why we made this apps folder up here. You're going to copy the Instagram folder right here and go to apps and paste it in there. So now it says it's in there and we can delete that from here. We can also delete the um, Instagram APK file because we don't need that anymore. 
So that means it is uninstalled off of our Chrome device. Now to get it back on there permanently where you can install more apps and it'll be okay, you're going to go to your extensions page. Go to the right up there, press more tools, extensions. And since you have developer mode installed, here, let's get rid of that right there. You have this thing right here where it says load unpacked extension. That's what you want. Press that and go to apps and you're gonna see Instagram, press it once in the right hand corner, go down click open and then bing, it's installed. So let's go ahead and launch Instagram up and uh, I'll show you what it can do. So it'll keep your information logged in, you know, all that stuff, it'll always stay there. Let's go to my, my thing. All right, let's log in. So check it out, Instagram is now on your Chromebook, your Chrome OS device, whatever you're running on, it's on there. So my internet's a little slow right now, so that's why it's a little laggy, but there you go. You can view the apps, you can send direct messages from here, you can uh, search for people, you can see your comments, you can look at your profile, you can watch the videos that you've recorded. For example, here's a video I recorded on my Instagram of my grandmother running. Uh, you got that. And you can look at your pictures, you know, just check them out, see what's going on. Now you can also upload pictures that are already on your Chrome device and put them onto Instagram like a regular post. And you can also take pictures with your webcam. Um, if you see here, hey guys, see? Alrighty. So you can take a picture like that. We'll do that. So we took a picture. It's not very good. I'm not going to post this, but you can select filters, you know, stuff like that. Change up the settings, edit the photo, make myself look really bad, you know, stuff like that. Uh, all right, so now that you got that down, you're all done editing your picture. You just press that and you are ready to post. You can direct message it, post to your followers, stuff like that. So we'll get off of that because I'm not going to post that. But you can also comment on pictures as well. You can like pictures, comment on pictures, everything you would normally do with the Instagram application on your phone. Now, this is awesome, and I hope you guys liked it. It's really cool, and it's a great way of showing how Android apps can work on your Chrome OS device, making it more than just a browser, as people are saying. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it made it simple and you understood it well. If you have any something wrong that you don't understand completely, please shoot me a comment. Explain to me why you don't understand it, and I will try to help you as best as I can. And yes, you can do this with most any application in the Android store right now. So if you want any other examples of like, you know, Snapchat or something like that, uh, comment me. Actually, Snapchat doesn't work right now. But uh, any other examples you want to try out, just send me a message or post a comment. And I'll let you know. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment. So you guys can, you know, tell me how awesome I am or tell me how bad I do. Uh, and also, I couldn't do these amazing videos without a sponsor. So the sponsor coming up is Alan Joseph Designs. He has great quality, just products that are amazing. If you see anything you like, please go to the link in the description for his store and type in the coupon code GMAPPER14 when you buy something. He will know that his sponsors are working. He can pay me more money to make awesome videos like this for you. 